When it comes to battery electric vehicles, there's no doubt Toyota's caught plenty of flack for its lack of enthusiasm. Well, here's proof Australia's dominant new car sales player is determined to catch up. It's called the BZ4X, and we've come here to Toyota's Melbourne test ground to drive it. Let's give it a whirl. BZ stands for Beyond Zero. It's Toyota's new global sub-brand that's devoted to battery electric vehicles. The BZ4X 5-door, five 5-seat five SUV is the first model to emerge from BZ and it's coming to Australia in late 2023. So far out, Toyota's not talking pricing, but the BZ4X won't be cheap. We think it could start around $70,000, but that's a guesstimate only. The better news is the BZ4X is the first of three or potentially more Toyota EVs that will be launched in Australia by the end of 2026. What we're driving is a UK spec all-wheel drive BZ4X. The Australian specification may be a little bit different by the time it launches here late in the year. However, the fundamentals transferable. So you've got two e-motors, one on each axle producing about 160 kilowatts and a battery pack with 71.4 kilowatt hours of capacity. All that adds up to about 460 kilometers of claimed range between recharges. That's about average for an EV SUV of this size. Less impressive is the 6.9 seconds 0 to 100 kilometer an hour time Toyota claims for the all-wheel drive BZ4X. There's also a cheaper front-wheel drive BZ4X that has a longer range and slower acceleration. But there's no point delving too much into the figures because Toyota is making it clear our BZ4X will be an updated model when it arrives. The BZ4X measures up at 4.7 metres long, which is roughly the same size as the popular RAV4 medium SUV. But Toyota's made the wheelbase of the BZ4X longer so it can fit the big battery pack between the axles. This is the top specification BZ4X in the UK, so no surprise when you jump in, it feels pretty plush. There's plenty of leather, there's piano black, there's a big 12.3 inch touch screen sitting up here on the dash, which is also trimmed in this quite unusual cloth. The BZ4X is built in Japan, so that means fit and finish expectations are high. It's a bit off-putting how far back the instrument panel is in relation to the steering wheel, and weirdly, there's no sign of a glove box. The big 12.3-inch screen is light years ahead of where Toyota infotainment systems have normally been. Rear seat room is generous, although you do sit a little knees up. The sort of comfort features you expect to hear, you get adjustable air con vents, USB outlets, and there's some cup holders and storage in the fold-down armrest as well. At 452 litres, the boot doesn't read that big, but have a look at it, and it seems quite generous, especially under the floor where there's plenty of storage because, well, there's no spare tyre. Anyway, let's hit the road and see what we find. This is the briefest of brief first drives, just three laps of the Toyota test track at Altona in Melbourne, which is a couple of straights, a couple of wiggles, and a 100 kilometer hour speed limit. Let's see what we can learn. Hit the throttle from standstill and the BZ4X hooks up nicely in that EV way. But as speeds climb towards 100 kilometers an hour, the impetus does start to level out. Basically, the BZ4X feels like it's built for comfort rather than speed. It rides pretty softly and there's plenty of body roll in the corners. And being an EV, of course, it gets along pretty nice and quietly. Although there is some wind noise that fills in the gap left by the lack of a petrol engine. It's not easy to gauge ride quality because this track is so smooth. So if we call this a taste test, then the BZ4X certainly lives up to the traditional Toyota credo of being pretty much vanilla transport, without frills or that much excitement. 
But to be honest, this first drive is less significant than the fact this car actually exists, is in Australia, and will soon go on sale. Toyota is such a dominant player in the Australian new car scene, the arrival of the BZ4X means more people will become interested in zero emissions motoring and may well make the switch from petrol to electric. What we can't tell you yet is how good the BZ4X is and whether it's worth buying. We need a much longer drive to deliver that verdict and we look forward to doing that soon.